I've got a story. So uh, Ooh, a friend of a friend uh, the other night, uh, husband and wife, they, they came home and it was late and uh, husband falls asleep on the couch. Wife goes up, upstairs and goes to sleep in their bed. And uh, their dogs have these collars that allow them to activate the doggy door. Um, so the door only opens if the dog's there. Well, a stranger sn- jumps their, their backyard fence and waits and is like waiting by their back door. And when the dog comes, he follows the dog on into their home and starts exploring the place while everyone's asleep. Terrible dog. Uh, terrible dog. The husband's asleep again on the couch, and he awakes to a man standing over him, holding the cue ball from his billiard table, praying in Arabic. Oh, that's with, not the with, language I'd want to hear. No, with his other hand. But he's saying good stuff, apparently, when he does break in, into English. He's trying to bless him and purge him of demons or something. Oh. I was like, I was like, and he's also rubbing the husband's face with his free hand. Mm. This is the part. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. This sounds nice. Now I don't know about you, but I like to think that I would have started screaming at that moment, um, or get up, get up and started fighting. He is coming out of a stupor, though. I think he's been <laughs> drinking, maybe. And mm. who knows? And um, he went over to fight. So he laid there, frozen <laughs> for like a couple minutes. He Mahal, said, Mahal, of, Mahal, Mahal. <laughs> just like having your yes, <laughs> yes, of a guy standing over him with a billiard ball, rubbing his face with one hand and saying like crazy gibberish, sometimes in Arabic and sometimes about demons and sometimes about I'm going to bless you or purge you of your demons or cleanse you. And it, it, I think the word cleanse really snaps something in him. Because the guy hurls the billiard ball across the room and destroys the television. Oh. Now that's when I would have killed him. All mm-hmm. right, that that would have oh, done it. Bad for me. guy threw the billiard ball. I'm sorry. Bad guy understand. throws the billiard ball, destroys the fucking television. The wife wakes up. She starts yelling. the The guy's distracted. This is when the husband jumps up, runs over to his cabinet, and grabs a, a, a firearm. Now the bad guy is screaming more, and he's really upset. The dogs are barking, the lady's yelling, and he charges the husband. He shoots the bad guy in the chest and drops him to the ground. Now the bad guy's on the ground screaming bloody murder in Arabic and crawling like something in a movie, they said. Just his arms, maybe? And the the wife's on one end of the room. The dogs are losing their shit. He's standing over the guy with a firearm, and the guy hears the wife scream, and he turns around, and they said he crawled faster than they thought possible toward her. Like, like, so he he shoots him again. He wants wants to get it in one more time. (laughs) So he shoots him again, and he kills him instantly, dead on the floor. Um, Huge. They'll know. They'll know early next year if the charges are going to be pressed or like or filed or anything like that. What state? That that's that's here in Georgia. Georgia. Um, That's all. Hopefully, he gets off because you can't break into people's homes holding cue balls, breaking their TV, rubbing their face. You, can't, you cannot do that. That's you, not allowed. I, you, tell me where that's in the rules. Dude, I, I don't want like the people I'm closest to in the world rubbing my face, much less an Arab man who just snuck in. And that dog needs to be fucking a Fired little bit in home. the firing line also. Like, that's, not un, that's, that's not fair to, to the family he's being supported by to not even bark, not give a yip. Hey, hey, there's a strange man chanting in your kitchen. Like, I don't Kyle, know. do you think Terrible your dogs dog. would go after a bad guy? Uh, I don't uh, go after is a strong word, you know. Like, mm-hmm. like, uh, I don't, they're not trained to attack, which you kind of need to do, I guess. But, um, I've seen what happens when repairmen come over and like strangers in the house, and uh, Toby will bark and lose his shit enough that everyone would be alerted. I don't know mm-hmm. if he'd bite them, he's never bit at a person, but he's acted real aggressive towards repairmen and tried to like. Like, I need to get over and see about you. Like, I don't know what he's going to do if I let him get over there. And he's he's almost 80 pounds, and he's pretty big now. Uh, the other dogs would just, the the Malamute would ignore you completely and pretend like it doesn't, like aloof cat <laughs> mode. Literally would ignore you and not want, like, don't touch me. And uh, the other dog would just be like, oh, give me love, give me love, give me love, give me <laughs> love. Oh, you smell new. You smell new. I love you. Which oh, one's this? The, the like, four-year-old female shepherd mixed dogs okay. yeah my dogs happy. would bark like they want to murder you and then once you cross the threshold and enter the home they just want love and attention and they you know yeah. it, it's a little overwhelming because they're so big a lot of people are scared of them just because they're like you know higher than waist tall i have uh, great danes 
and uh but they're not dang they're they're too nice my previous dog jack he's dead now he would literally kind of try to kill you and you can't make friends with him in just a few days uh, he it, people have this hope that their dog would rise to the occasion if an actual bad guy came mm-hmm. jack didn't need to rise that was his constant state murder 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 yeah. murder and at the yeah. time we were get like i was more a bigger deal on youtube so we had all these death threats and you know like it was a little safety it felt good to have a homicidal dog uh, yeah, that that was a scary dog. Um, what was his name again? Jack. Jack. Jack scared me. Um, I knew that Jack wanted to hurt me, and that if you let him, he would. Uh, and I was very afraid when I woke up. Um, you know, the next morning at your place, I was like, I don't remember if, how I how I checked with you or whatever, but I was like, I wonder if Jack's roaming around. <laughs> <laughs> you were you know, like, if, if I yeah, if, if, I was like, if I come out of this bedroom and like. <laughs> walk down the hall to the bathroom or like go get a cup of coffee is jack out and about <laughs> <laughs> if i recall he snatch me up <laughs> it's the rip- we had a soft muzzle like it, it wasn't hard like a cage it was soft and he wore that constantly when they, when we had friends over except for eating and we would feed him while holding him on a leash like he was not a it How wasn't was like jack? a he was a great to day, kill me so 140 oh, 160 something like that yeah he'd have killed he'd have, i feel like if me and jack had a fight to the death we might both die. There's a problem. Yeah, yeah. It's not okay. <laughs> you could take it. We might. I don't. I'm, if I'm unarmed, and I, I just have to hope that at some point I'm able to like. You're both naked, you know, even that, the odds. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, you might bite your foot. It's awful. <laughs> have I told the story about get when Jack stance. attacked a neighbor? <laughs> I, I don't know if I maybe I've told it. Six yes. Times. Oh my god. I, yeah. I, I thought we should keep quiet about that for the longest time. So that was settled. When Jack it's attacked settled your neighbor. now. Good. Yeah. yeah. They won't be misbehaving again. And by so, attack, you mean mauled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened. Um, it It's fundamentally my fault. I was taking hope defensing. We like Don't forgot that her. Shit. <laughs> it's, 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 I'll, I'll explain. We were taking him to fencing and uh, hope forgot her stuff. So I had her like run in the house, grab her gear and run back. And she didn't shut the door. But on the adult, it's my fault. And uh, um, so we go and I'm taking her to fencing while the door is open. And Jack leaves the house and starts like running around the cul-de-sac. Uh, he wasn't being aggressive or anything. He was just sort of prancing around in the street. And a woman decided that she was going to, I guess, maybe guide him towards our open door or something. So she does like one of these deals where she's like, you know, sort of like yeah, that's wingspan how you wanna, open. Yeah, approach a strange dog. You're not familiar. hurting the dog, you know, in hurting H-E-R-D, mm-hmm. hurting the dog towards the front door. And uh, Jack bit her on the arm, drew blood, bunch of stitches. I, the, the policeman showed me the gash on her forearm. It was, you know six inches or something and jagged like he he must have like <laughs> done his best effort because oh, because ladies get that paper fit thin skin at some point and yeah not like that old i'm gonna call her 35 chicken 45. cutlet okay yeah. yeah no jack punched through some healthy youthful skin <laughs> yeah yeah and um uh anyway animal control comes and this and that and it turns out in north carolina it's pretty difficult for it to be the dog owner's fault that, nice. uh, you know, <laughs> so she explained what happened to like animal control, how, you know, the dog was out. I was trying to guide it back in, etc. So then um, she's like, I guess, suing us or like working with my insurance company. And the story changed to I was opening my mailbox and then out of the blue, the dog comes from the side and bites me in the arm. Mm-hmm. But they had the different versions of the story. And yeah. they're like, no, 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 no. So it just kind of died there. My insurance never even had to pay anything out. Um, yeah, I she like, lied. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and that was, I don't know, 13 years ago or something. Like, Yeah, I remember. Yeah, approaching the dog was was the real thing that, that I feel like made the, the, and then them being like, wait, did you give a false police report the first time or are you lying to us now? And oh, uh, oh yeah. well, uh, which supports my. Once she got an attorney, more. she knew what the story should have been. Changed yeah. to that. Like that's Man. that's what sneaky. Most people skip is that first step getting an attorney. Man, at I least you trained your dog. You tried to keep your dog in. You got a muzzle, a warning. There's a guy in my neighborhood who doesn't do that. 
He's got a massive German Shepherd, maybe a German Shepherd mix. It's not Great Dane size, but it's over 100 pounds easily. Mm -hmm. Big boy, chunky. Guy moves into the neighborhood about last year. Uh, He's walking his dog. I say hi. It's a small neighborhood. Say hi. Introduce myself to the guy who lives down the street. The dog looks at me and just views me as a threat and starts getting very aggressive and growling and snapping. And the guy's like, oh, dude, it's fine. It's no worries. She's actually a sweetheart. She just puts up this big facade. But when you get close to pet her, it'll be fine. I took like one step closer to the dog and it fucking bolted on the leash. And the guy had to like double hand, hold it, snap it taut. And it's like snapping at me and I have to back away. And he's like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. She's a sweetie. You just have to trust it and go in for the pet. I mean, I'm good. Go I'm totally good. You can, uh, you can, you can That's keep all right. your own dog. Some people shouldn't be able to have dogs. Yeah. Oh, I, I just wanted to tell a little more in case I'm being judged. We hired a dog trainer. He came to the house every week to teach us how to teach the dog to be better. Mm-hmm. We took the dog to the kennel and had him stay there when we weren't even on vacation. We were just socializing him with like other dogs and stuff like daycare for people who work from home like no yeah. reason we just and uh we did everything we could my wife would walk him all the time uh but well i mean if you had a history where all the dogs you owned became like woman attackers mm-hmm. but like it seems like jack just had a little little he little ties into my friend's parenting in there. philosophy yeah, yeah right? it doesn't like, matter what you do the kid's yeah. gonna be the kid i like yeah. it i like it jack took home security seriously he did i like i appreciate that at least you know he's not wishy-washy yeah. game you know seven he mentality he's, never- <laughs> you're not- Kobe. Yeah. he's a dog that is not going to surprise you you know what you get very predictable. I-, I i can appreciate that um but i was terrified of him because i could i was just like oh you're just a big bully aren't you and he's like i will murder you yeah it was like i'm like no three. i'll rub he's your just... belly i'll i'll spit your belly i'll get you to the armpit he's like, i will eat your fingers first <laughs> i'm gonna yeah. eat your eyes you're gonna wake up blind <laughs> <laughs> yeah kyle's good with I dogs the door. And, and he has like, he, he's a lot of experience and affection for dogs that's who kyle is and uh you know so on, like day two or three he's like have we gotten over this yet Jack was not over it yet, but he had a nah. muzzle on. I knew Kyle was safe, but no, uh, he was waiting for Woody to take her to fucking fencing practice. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then he was going to fuck your ass up. <laughs>